While Virgin Galactic was just grounded until further notice by the FAA, let's launch into all the details. Hey everyone, Zach here with the Launchpad News. On July 11th, Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic company flew its first missions with passengers called Unity 22. Branson and four other passengers flew to suborbital space on Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 named Unity, which was piloted by two veteran Virgin Galactic pilots. Well, we're now learning a lot more details about this first mission, and they're not good news for the future of Virgin Galactic. After the carrier aircraft White Knight 2 lifted VSS Unity to an altitude of 50,000 feet or 15,000 meters, the space plane was released from the mothership, ignited its rocket engines, and began its journey to suborbital space before heading back to Earth in an unpowered glide flight similar to what we saw with the shuttle's return. Details have now come out that just a minute into Unity's powered flight, a yellow caution light appeared on the space plane's console, indicating the spacecraft was now veering off course. The yellow light was warning pilots that their flight path was, and I quote, too shallow and their nose of the ship was insufficiently vertical. Should they not fix this immediately, they would be at risk of needing to conduct an emergency landing in the desert, not at Spaceport America. Virgin Galactic officials have stated that the safety of their crew and passengers is their top priority. Just a few seconds before the rocket engine was set to burn out, another warning light appeared on the console, but this time it was a red warning indicating a re-entry glide cone warning. When Virgin Galactic's ship reaches Apogee and starts to return to Earth, a cone-shaped trajectory is imagined to ensure the ship can safely glide its way back to Earth safely and land at Spaceport America. One of the pilots on board this flight in 2015 stated, a yellow warning is like, hey, fix this. A red light should scare the crap out of you. The Unity had an issue during launch, and now it's descending and it's veered outside the return cone trajectory and its aerospace even. For 1 minute and 41 seconds, VSS Unity had deviated outside of the designated airspace given to it by the FAA and air traffic control. When preparing to bring you this update about these warning lights, there have now been two more developments in this story. This morning, Virgin Galactic officially announced its crew for Unity 23, but didn't give a launch date, showing us that they are preparing for this mission. But just a couple hours later, the FAA released a statement, and I quote, Virgin Galactic may not return the Spaceship 2 vehicle to flight until the FAA approves the final mishap investigation report or determines the issues related to the mishap do not affect public safety, end quote. The FAA is responsible for protecting the public during commercial space transportation launch and reentry operations. Virgin Galactic, with the yellow and red light warnings, should have aborted this mission, but instead they continued. The mission was technically a success, but now history of the first mission of Virgin Galactic will be remembered by also technically breaking some of the rules. So let us know what you think. Should they have aborted and returned to Spaceport America, ultimately giving Jeff Bezos the ability to reach suborbital space flight first, or were they right to continue with their mission if the pilots thought it was safe? Let me know in the comments, and make sure you never miss another Space News update by engaging that subscribe button, and I'll see you right back here on the Launchpad next time. This is Zach, signing off.